In the Oscar-nominated film Silver Linings Playbook, Bradley Cooper's character is diagnosed with bipolar disorder. The subject created a lot of buzz surrounding the illness. But what is true and what's movie hoopla? Susan Ferris, neurodevelopmental specialist, is here to set us straight about bipolar disorder. What is bipolar disorder exactly? Well, the characteristics are that you have extremes in both directions. So you can be, have extreme manic, very happy, very excited, and extreme depression. And there may not always be an obvious cause. And okay. that's part of what it is, is that with regular depression, there's usually some event that mm -hmm. may have triggered it, and it makes sense to the people around them, and it stays depression. Hmm. Whereas when it's bipolar, it's up and down and up Extremes, and down right. and it varies with every person whether it's a long up and a short down or hmm. how long it's going to be how long is a normal in between there's so much variety and before we talk about what can can be done to treat it or what causes it sort of what can it happen in children it's being diagnosed in children i've heard uh, this i disagree okay uh, from my perspective i don't think that it is uh something that should be treated with medication right and we have clients that are diagnosed with one doctor, they'll say they're bipolar, another doctor will say they're ADHD, another doctor will give them another diagnosis. Sure. And these are family doctors that are doing the best they can with the knowledge that they've got. And they just want to help, and I understand Absolutely. that. They try to figure it out. But there's a deficiency of some things that are that are not helping, right? Right. Well, you never hear about somebody having a Prozac deficiency. <laughs> no. But you do hear about vitamin deficiencies. Mm -hmm. So back in the 1950s, there was a Dr. Hoffer who did six controlled, placebo-controlled studies hmm. and found that giving high-dose vitamin B, which is niacin or niacinamide, vitamin B6, which is folate, high dose vitamin C, those th three things alone that in a period of three or four days can have a significant impact on their behavior. That's amazing. Well, what was rhythmic movement? Rhythmic movement training, training is what I do. Okay. That's where we use physical movements to build more neural pathways in the brain so that those people who have a, a really short fuse, like in bipolar, mm -hmm. can have more communication with their brain so that they don't have a short fuse anymore. Interesting. Does stress lead to any... Uh, does it not help? Does it hinder it? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Everybody's brain. As soon as they're, they're under a little bit of stress, there's less communication between the two hemispheres. Mm -hmm. So that's why when kids who may know a subject really well, but they say, oh, we're going to be tested today, they cannot pass a test on it if their life depended on it because they start losing communication between the two sides of the brain and it might be the, the side that has all the details mm -hmm. I so love, they can't pass the test. I love when you come on and talk about this because you know your creative side and the mathematical side it, it's all working in one and with, with exercises that you've given are phenomenal and you got to learn more about her too about this but the deficiency thing if somebody's at home right now thinking I may be bipolar I have extreme mood swings they should take these, these vitamin deficiencies to, to heart. Maybe try something. Right? They need to work with their doctor to do it. Sure. And there's several websites that you can study up on it. One that I recommend is called doctoryourself.com. Okay. And they have, it's orthomolecular. It's treating disease with food, with vitamins. Yes, that's so much better than... Than I agree. Medicines. Thank you so much. Susan Ferris, awesome. You can schedule a free session with you. Free brain fitness strategies. The information's on our website. Go check it out at greatdaygreencountry.com. It's fascinating.